Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. Today we're building a module I've been very eager to try out. The Kickall, a powerful kick drum module from Bifaco. The Kickall is actually a condensed collection of the modules you would probably use to patch a kick drum. It has a very musical 3340 based VCO capable of 1 volt per octave response, a CV crossfader going between the sine wave and the square, two decay envelopes, one for pitch with time and depth controls, and one for amplitude, controlled via the fader and the CV input. It also has a CV input for amplitude, which disengages the internal decay. There's even a handy local trigger button, so you can play it without needing an external sequencer or keyboard. Since this module tunes very well and has a wave shape control, it can also function as a very cool bass synth, as well as a drone. In the box, you get a printed build manual, which I suggest you follow closely, as well as every electronic and hardware component needed to build the module, including a power cable and knurlies for mounting it, as well as a nice black panel and both PCBs. This time the PCBs came stuck together, so I had to break them apart first. Easy peasy. Next I installed all of the resistors, diodes and ferrite beads on the main board and proceeded to solder them from above. Then I used the second PCB to hold the IC sockets in place as I turned the board around to solder them. This time the sockets covered the designators for some of the capacitors, so I recommend you first take a picture of the PCB with your phone for future reference. Then I installed the capacitors, minding the polarity of the electrolytic caps. After that came the transistors, followed by the trim pot. Snap on the ICs, minding their orientation. Then the male pin headers that connect the boards together, making sure they were very straight. And finally the power header, and board one was done. Moving on to the control board, I again started with the resistors and diodes, soldering from above, trimming and touching up from behind. Then, this time using the panel to hold them in place, I installed the IC sockets. Next came the capacitors. Then I snapped on the ICs and soldered on the female pin headers before starting with the panel components. First the fader gets installed and soldered on. Then I placed the jack spots, the LED and the button, but did not solder them yet. I first attached the panel to make sure everything lined up perfectly. then proceeded to solder on all of the remaining panel components. Attached the metal spacers with the included nuts and started to attach the boards together. They didn't fit right away, I had to bend some caps out of the way to make it all fit. Do so carefully. I then checked the power connector for shorts, plugged in the power cable, then installed the knobs and went on to calibrate and test it. Mine worked perfectly on power-up. I hope you liked this video, please check out the next one which is a full demo of what this module can do and how it sounds. As usual, I ask that you please like, subscribe and consider supporting me on Patreon. See you soon and stay noisy!